Thanks for visiting the Center for Facial Appearances website and thanks for your interest in learning more about dermal fillers. Dermal fillers are one of the many cosmetic treatments offered at the Center for Facial Appearances to address those changes which occur in the face with facial aging. With facial aging, there's loss of facial volume. We all know this from our own personal experience, that babies and young people have full faces and that very old people lose that fullness of youth, giving way to a somewhat deflated facial appearance. Age-related loss of facial fullness is caused by thinning of the skin and loss of fat beneath the skin. The loss of fullness causes wrinkling. This is analogous to a beach ball. When fully inflated, it is tight and without imperfections in its contour. Let some of the air out of that beach ball and it becomes flaccid and develops wrinkles on the surface. One purpose of dermal fillers is to reinflate the face, adding back the fullness loss with aging. In addition to the loss of facial fullness, gravity causes the face to sag with aging. The sagging is most noticeable in the cheeks, the jowls, and the under eye area. Dermal filler can help reverse these age-related changes in some cases by lifting the sagging tissue and in other cases by camouflaging the sagging tissue. The whole face loses fullness with aging, so it's not surprising that many locations on the face can benefit from adding volume. The single most popular area of the face to use dermal fillers is the nasolabial fold. The lips are another common area to receive filler injections. Other very useful areas of the face to add volume to include the eyebrows, the cheeks, the lower eyelids, the corner of the mouth, and the jawline near the chin. A question many patients focus on is what filler is best? The answer varies depending on a number of issues such as what part of the face the filler will be injected at and what depth it will be injected to. For instance, radius is really an excellent filler when injected deep for adding volume to the cheeks, but it should not be injected superficially and it should not be injected in the lips. The Center for Facial Appearances retains a wide variety of fillers in stock so that the best option is available to you on the day you come for your procedure. The place to start is a consultation at the Center for Facial Appearances. The goal of the consultation is to first learn what you hope to achieve. Once the goal is identified, I can talk with you about the options available to achieve your goal. One of the things I like most about working with dermal fillers is that it's really a great chance to meld the science of medicine with the art of medicine. To be really good at filler injections, one must first be a good listener so that I can understand completely what you wish to achieve with the use of filler. One must then have a very complete understanding of facial anatomy and of the way each of the fillers interacts with facial anatomy. Science is paramount in planning the ideal procedure. Once the plan is made, the procedure itself is art. The procedure is instantly gratifying as the results can be seen as the procedure is performed. Much like a portrait sculpturer can instantly see the results of their work. At the Center for Facial Appearances, we believe that the science of planning your procedure and the art of carrying out the procedure are best left in the hands of a board certified surgeon. The doctor whom you consult will also perform the injections and you will not be assigned to an assistant to perform your procedure. If you are interested in learning more about dermal fillers, feel free to browse the website further. If you're ready to schedule a consultation, call the Center for Facial Appearances at 801-363-3355. If you decide to have a dermal filler procedure performed, on the day of your consultation, there will be no charge for that consultation. Thank you very much.